Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new to my little side of YouTube, I would like to welcome you. Um, if you are new here, I want you to do two things. I need you to like this video and I'd like for you to subscribe to my channel um, because I am going to definitely try to do more content and add more things as I go along. And in this video, I am going to show you how I finally have successfully done a wash and go on my hair, my natural hair that is. So I'm going to apply this comb out cape. I got this from my local beauty supply store. I put a towel on here as well. I didn't really need it, but okay. Um, this is actually a follow up to my moisture, oh, I'm sorry, my mask Monday video that I just did before. So if you have not seen that video, click, look down below and find the last one and you can see what I'm doing. Um, so in the last video, I used the Diva Curl Melt Into Moisture Mask. That was absolutely amazing. It was just so moisturizing to my hair and I washed it out before I changed my clothes and oops, did all of this. So I washed out my hair. Um, like I said, how I felt about it is in the video before this one. So click on that one if you want to see that before you watch this one. So. What I'm going to use today is a few items in order for me to achieve the look that I want. So, um, if you're going to, so how should I start this off? For my wash and goes, I realized I got my diva, so I got a diva cut back in February, February 24th, or I think February 25th, but either way, I got it done earlier this year in February, February 2019. And when I got my diva cut, I got rid of a lot of the dead ends that were in my hair. However, even though I had finally gotten it under control, I still couldn't master a wash and go. I think one of the reasons why is because I simply was not using the right products. And in addition to that, I wasn't satisfied by the length of my hair. So the back of my hair, even though it, you know, it, it, it draws up, I still just wasn't satisfied. And then when I finally got it done and it was finished, I just didn't like it. And really kind of like halfway through my wash and goes, I would just give up, wash it out and just do a twist out or I would, you know, twist it up and, you know, take it out or I would braid it up and then take it out. And I think that is a struggle for a lot of people who are natural. They just kind of give up and, you know, we never go back to getting a relaxer, but we get so frustrated and, you know, just don't really take the time out for it. So I have favorite uh, hair bloggers that I look at. I look at Happy Curl, Happy Girl, Natural Rain, and Kimberly Sherelle, Shirell, excuse me. Kimberly Sherell and uh, Happy Curl, Happy Girl. But the person who stands out to me the most is Natural Rain because of the fact that she's high porosity. I am high por porosity as well. And so I understand where her hair is coming from and you know how she has had to go through a long process too in order to get where she's at. And if you don't know who she is and you wanna see what she's talking about, hopefully I'll have a link down at the bottom so you can check it out. If not, her name is Natural Rain and that's natural spelled out, R-E-I-G-N. So let's get started. So in order for me to achieve the wash and go that I want, I am going to use, and something tells me, oh, I bought it. I am going to use the Camille Rose Honey Hydrate. As you can see, I've been using a lot of it because as you can see, it's down here. This is $13 um, in your beauty supply store, or you can find it on Amazon. Amazon is my best friend, honey. Um, so I know I need to re-up very fast. I'm and then for my styler, I'm going to use the extreme wet line, um, the blue gel. There is a blue, there is a clear, there is a green, there is a brown. I've never used the brown before. Um, I haven't seen the best results on, I mean, I haven't seen the best reviews on it. Um, I only have the clear. Um, I am in Maryland and you can get the clear from Sally's Beauty Supply. You, it's like a it's like a container maybe like this high and it's a little wider and it's about i think i paid like 2.99 for it i think like two dollars and 46 cents this was 2.96 at target this is huge this is 
35 ounces, one kilogram, whatever, has extra firm hold. This holds my hair very well. Um, only problem is um, in the ingredients, um, it's a lot of stuff that I can't even begin to want to name. Um, if you are somebody who is just strictly, strictly, strictly natural, they're very serious about what they put in their hair, I would not recommend this for you. But if you are natural and you want a good styler that's gonna be in your hair, this is all the rave. I'd recommend it. Um, the Honey Hydrate, the ingredients are straight to the point. Honey, olive fruit oil, castor oil, olive leaf juice, bilberry fruit, sugar cane, sugar maple, sweet orange fruit, lemon fruit extract, caramel, and something else at the end I can't, I, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it. Trust me, I know how to speak, I know how to pronounce things, but I ain't getting ready to do it here. Um, Camille Rose, I really like Camille Rose stuff, but this leave-in is wonderful. I'd recommend it. And I think I'm gonna do a video about my favorite products, um, but that'll be in another video. So I'm gonna use these two. And then for the front of my hair to keep it down, cause my front, ooh, my edges, honey. I'm gonna use the Gorilla Snot. I finished setting my wash ago. I'm going to use this Curl Construct Creation Mousse by Garnier. This was $2 at CVS. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna be cheaper in other stores. It was $2.96 at Target. That's at $2.96 at uh, CVS. And I did some type of coupon deal, so trust me, I didn't really pay for this. I am going to use a Demon brush to set my hair and to help you know, bring my curls out even more. And I also have an edge thing. I'm gonna start with the back first. I'm not really gonna use a comb. I'm not gonna really need it like I want to. I wash my hair out in the Mask Monday video. I did not wash out all of the, um, I did not wash out all of the conditioner. All right, so we are gonna use, we're gonna start on this side here. Now, this side of my hair, the curls are a lot tighter. Um, I do have a couple of hair types in here. I don't type my hair. I really don't because I'm not a pro at it. Um, when I got my diva cut back in February, I did the whole porosity strand test and thought I was low porosity until my stylist Terrell was like, no, sweetie, you are, high porosity and so um i just don't do it but i can definitely tell you all of my hair is not the same so what are we going so what we're going to do now that i have my hair sectioned off here i'm going to take the camille rose and use about a maybe like a quarter size here and as you can see it's a little thick it this warms up in your hands so this warms up in your hands very well and i'm just gonna move i'm just gonna apply this to my hair to the section that i'm getting ready to start on all right now that we have done that you're going to move this around then you're going to use the praying hands to smooth it on out and make sure all your strands get it okay then we are going to subsection and apply a pick. Now, one thing that you need to do when you are doing a wash and go, you wanna make sure that your hair is soaking wet because you want everything to work together. If your hair starts to get dry, it will not set well unless your hair is trained and if you have the right style as your hair, if it's trained to do wash and goes, then maybe you can put in a gel and set your hair like a dry wash and go. And I know I'm not there yet, so I wouldn't waste my time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply a little bit of water. I got this mister online for I think like $8, might've been more, but it was on Amazon. So again, check it out. So I'm gonna add a little bit of the extreme wet line to my hair. And I'm just gonna take the denim brush. I'll make sure I get everything through, okay? Now you can shingle, you can do whatever it is that you want. For me, all I have to do is just do this and it'll set well, 
okay? I will shingle when I get to this side. A little side. bit of water. Do the extreme wet line. And break it through with your fingers. Now, if you are doing the curly girl method, then I would not recommend using this Demon brush because salons will tell you, you know, a stylist will tell you, do not use this. You need to use your fingers. Your fingers should be the only way that you are detangling your hair. If you have a knot that is super hard to get out, then maybe they'll say, okay, maybe you should use a, a, a comb or a styling brush, but they, I'm telling you, they will not recommend that you use this. So, you know, once you have, once you have applied your styler, they'll probably recommend you to shingle it. Or they'll tell you to use your fingers and it'll just fall into place. And see, as you can see, that's how it looks. Right, so we're gonna go to the next section. Make sure you get your ends as well. right and this is how it looks so this is one side okay so what I'm going to do now that I finished it I'm going to take the mousse that's how it looks I'm just gonna take this and apply it to the back I'm just gonna use my fingers to move it through And then I'll scrunch it. All right, so now we're gonna move over to the next side. Now, I know that these sides are gonna get a little dry because I haven't touched them, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut out the middleman. I'm gonna apply water. Now, this is the side that's a little harder. So because it's a little harder, uh, well, a little more trifling, I am going to do exactly what I said. I am going to scrunch the side. So. I have already wet the side, so now I'm going to use my Camille Rose. I'm going to do another quarter size. Move it around in my hands, let it warm up a little more. Now I'm going to work it into this section here. Now, like I told you, this side is a little tougher. So this is where you're going to see me do like my shingling method. Okay. Okay, and this is how it looks okay all right so like I told you this side is a little more difficult so I'm going to add the mousse and then I am going to simply scrunch gonna simply do to the front of my hair I usually try to do something on the side um, so we're gonna speed this little section up and you'll see what I do to the front of my hair all right Okay, folks, so my hair is done now. I want to do a complete 360 real quick. So as you can see, this is my hair. 
and I am not gonna diffuse it. I'm not comfortable with the diffusing process yet. Um, will it mess up? I doubt it, but I got some things to do in here, so I doubt that it's gonna mess up. Um, but I have some stuff to do, as you can see, because my hair is a lot curlier, it's like much more curlier on this side. Um, it, it really does look like my hair is kind of asymmetrical. So because of that, I kind of just braid up this side. I wish I would have done it a little higher, but it's okay. Um, but I went ahead and did this. Um, I'm probably going to add like a couple little cute little, I don't know. I'm going to add something to it to make it look cute. Uh, but once it dries, probably fluff it up a little bit. But as you can see, this is my hair here. This is from scrunching. So like I said, because this side is a little more difficult, I scrunch it and then I added the creation mousse with it. It'll help it to kind of fall into place. And this is my hair, y'all. This is my hair. I'm really excited about it. Can't wait till it dries. So you'll get to see it on Instagram um, probably the next day after I finish it, after I let it dry completely. Um, so that is it for my video. I wanted to finally show you how I did a wash and go with my favorite products. So extreme wet line, honey hydrates. Mm-hmm. Well, that's it for the for my video. Thank you all for tuning in and watching this. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, complaints, whatever, drop them down at the bottom. Um, if you think somebody would benefit from this video, share the video. Um, the more the merrier. Um, if you have any other questions and you want to see my personal page, then my IG information is down in the bottom. And all the other products that I use, hopefully I'll put them inside the description uh, below. Um, but thank you so much for checking out my video. And let me leave you with this tidbit. To any natural girl that is looking at my video, do not give up. I have been natural for five years now. I finally did a diva cut in February, five years ago. It is now, you know, back in February, I finally got my hair cut. And I'm starting to embrace the natural side of this. I'm starting to embrace what it is to do a wash and go. I finally got the wash and go down. It's not an overnight process. Just like when you finally master the career that you want, or you're working for the degree that you want, or you're working for the job that you want, or you're raising your kids to get them to where you would like for them to be. All of this is not an overnight success. It takes time. So don't give up. My videos, as well as other hair vloggers that are on here, we're all doing the same thing. We're doing this so that you can learn and hopefully you learn what we've given you and you've taken the lessons and you incorporate it into your own hair routine. So don't give up. Don't give up. All right. Bye.